Yo, what's up? I am well aware it's been a very long time since I done one of these. And I know I say it every time, but this time, maybe just maybe, this will be the time that kickstarts us back to some consistent uploading on YouTube. I can't make any promises though. Anyway, right now I am back at my parents for Christmas. A time for family, caring, giving, and training. And today I am not alone. I'm gonna be training with Isabel Wilkins. She recently came second in the Ultimate Freestyle UK Freestyle Football Championships 2022. And more importantly, more recently, she won the Youth Online Female Under 16 Freestyle Football Championship. If I got the title of that one right. So yes, she is class. Truth be told, I'm running a little bit late, so I need to get my skates on. She's got a sports hall, a village hall booked. So yeah, catch you guys later. Also, late little prize for Isabel for coming second in uh, UK Champs. I can even get the logo to see it in all its glory. Big thank you to PWG for Evolution. Looking good. There you go. So this is the current state of the freestyle shoes, or do I go through hell and break in the new ones today? Hmm. Just do it! Yeah, go on then. So time to get into the contents of this session right before Christmas, just waiting for the, there we go. There's my nostalgia, no train, no gain, swooping across the screen there. Um, first few touches with the ball in the new shoes is always a little bit um, daunting, shall we say, and made me feel like, oh my God, this is gonna be a long day. Why did I, why did I choose to do it today? Um, but. It's very much a mental thing. Um, I think the more that you give it a voice and say, oh, this is really hard because I'm in new shoes, I think the harder you're gonna make it for yourself. Um, and while I was warming up still, uh, Isabel was, you know, <laughs> straight into the swing of things. Nice little lower combo there. And I'm still kind of going through my warm up um, phase while she's, you know, touching three alt lemons in combo. Um, the Abbas around the world, five different ways of setting yourself up for it is usually like a good staple of my warm-up. I couldn't quite get it there because, again, I'll blame that one on the shoes, okay? Um, and Isabel, just from the off, looking really strong with the lowers, a mixture of two revs and not two revs. Um, she has a lot of tools in her toolbox and it was good to kind of train with her and see them and give each other a few different ideas and stuff as well. And then I'm kind of up in the pace a little bit um, with my lowers and usually to be honest with sessions when I am using new shoes the aim for me will be to try and do as many tricks as possible um, very unfortunate not to get the two alt homie tizani there in combo uh, don't think she's done that before um, and when I say to do as many tricks as possible I mean just variety variety is the theme really just to try and speed up the process of breaking in the new shoes um, and very quickly to my surprise i was uh getting to grips with them sooner rather than later shall we say this was a really nice combo here from isabel a strong start with homie tizani alt lemons and a nice finish as well with the alt homie mitch fair play um, this was one of my favorite combos of the session actually in purely in terms of variety there's a lot of ingredients in this one magellan combo mitch abbas which got a nice pop-up lemons out mid combo homie tizani and then what was the finish oh yeah oh homie tizani to finish it off i was you know chuffed enough with that one that's only about 20 minutes into the session as well isabel revisiting the old homie tizani um times two in a combo unfortunate at first glance watching that one back i thought she got it but no and then that <laughs> that clip there pretty much sums up my emotions of you know the new shoes i'd say that the magellan in touch is one of the hardest for me when it comes to new shoes it just it goes one of two ways it's either perfect or it just flies off um i was unfortunate with that one as well i don't know why i i should have had a few more hop the worlds to set me up for that one um but the abba the abbas abbas no touch was first time for me and then Isabel straight afterwards was following suit as well. Just unlucky that that combo sort of fizzled out for her. But it's nice to see that. Not really, you don't see too many girls doing Abbas Abbas no touch. And then I did the hard work with that one with four of the Abbas no touch and then dropped it on the easy bit. Um, 
Homie Tizani, Ninja. Also, Ninja is another trick as well for all the variations that in new shoes. Um, takes a little bit of getting used to, it's fair to say. And I've really recently fallen in love with knee abbas variations for some reason. I'm not quite sure where this came from, um, but I managed to, to do three lemons abbas in, in a combo there, which was a new personal best for me. And then this was a beautifully structured combo here from Isabel. The delayed abbas on the other foot, I am not a fan of that. I mean, it looks beautiful when other people do it, but for me personally, I really struggle with it. Um, so that was a really nice combo. Um, and then this is about an hour and a quarter into the session. Um, and I just kind of wanted to switch up um, the kind of stuff I was trying. I managed to get six um, of these in a combo, which was a new best for me, which is nice. Um, not all of them looked, you know, super nice, but I'll take it. And then uh, Isabel as well. Magellan, Abbas. I like that start of the combo, actually. That looks good. Finishing it off with a staple alt lemons as well. Love to see it. This really here, this clip is testament to sort of how tired I was at this session. Uh, at this point in the session, look how leggy yeah. the hop the worlds were getting. So yeah, this is a challenge that I usually get people that I'm training with to set me just to end the sessions. Um, and I thought maybe there was a chance I could have got it first try, but then I quickly realized that uh, even though I was getting the Abbas, Abbas no touch pretty much every time, the alt homie Mitch and the alt Mitch, Mitch no touch with heavy legs. And when your balance isn't quite a hundred percent like mine on alt homie Mitch, like mine needs to be perfect for the setup for me to be able to do it mid combo now. Um, and it just was not there. So uh, yeah, I could, I could immediately tell it was gonna be a bit of a sticking point. Oh, running out of steam. Isabel did, however, throw me a lifeline by saying that I could substitute the alt Mitch Mitch No Touch for a weak foot homie Tizani. So something that for me is still a little bit tricky, but wasn't going to be as energy consuming. Um, and I also put the alt homie Mitch at the start of the combo because I knew that was going to be the real sticking point for me. I should, probably should have done better with that one. I think I just rushed that attempt there. Um, and persisted with the challenge for a while. I, I usually do really try my best. Uh, Sam Lord will vouch for me, but I do try my best to persist with those challenges. I managed to get it in the end there, finishing with the weak foot homie Tizani. Isabel, meanwhile, returning back to the alt homie Tizani combo, alt homie Tizani quest. Not quite that time, not quite. Uh, and then to finish off, I went for Hop the Worlds. Um, just to burn down, only got seven on the first attempt. I thought, no, nope, we're not having that, we're doing better. <laughs> Couldn't settle for seven, no matter how tired your legs are. Um, and on the second try, I managed to get a total of 45. So not too bad, I will happily take that. Look at this, this is real sweat. Huh? The magic was all in the banana. We, we, we're not getting that team combo if we, if we, without the banana. We then moved on to a team combo, which we've posted on both of our Instagrams. So you'll have to go check that out elsewhere if you want to see that. And then after we got the team combo, we just put our remaining energy, probably about the remaining third of the session, into some all round and just kind of just went with the flow really, just trying a few different things, a few sets, and um, just sort of seeing what felt good. Um, I'm, I'm really, really blown away by um, Isabel's sets, to be honest. I can tell that she's been training a lot of consistency recently, and it's all structured together really nicely. It ticks a lot of boxes for what people look for in a competition nowadays, and you can just see that the way that she's piecing the tricks together is all really, really well thought out. Me, on the other hand, um, pure improvisation. I am really loving that forward roll transition. I feel like that's something that has just uh, been integrated into my freestyle um, quite strongly in 2022. Um, and then we're doing a few other like random bits of transitions and stuff. That was quite a cool one there um, from Isabel. And these like heel outside clipper touches, um, they're a little bit fiddly and they're also quite a hard thing to make look nice. I think that's probably the most I've ever done. Now check out this from Isabel, the outside knee stall. I'll be honest, 
It's not one that I've tried myself, so I don't know how hard it is. But the fact that she can do it on both sides like that is just crazy. Like that is so cool in my opinion. Uh, and then the nice little like fold out to rolling it down the neck to finish, unreal. Um, I was trying a lot of um, flick ups to start my sets in this round. I remember now watching this. Um, and some of them are really fiddly. Some of them just end up at, <laughs> at the back of this hall. This hall was really nice, by the way. Like the floor wasn't slippy. We had a big music system. Shout out to Sharam for his uh, Spotify playlist, getting uh, fueling us for the session. It was very good. And uh, yeah, I was happy enough with that set there. Just trying to work on strong finishes more so than anything. A Dometto on each foot from Isabel. Very nice, very nice. And then this little trick. Look at that. That's a sick transition, that. I think that was the first time she ever tried it with a 360 as well, if I remember rightly. I think she went to carry the combo on there and just kicked it away. This is pretty cool as well. I've seen a few freestylers doing things with this kind of stool, but once you're in that position, there's not too many ways that you can get out of it, but Isabel's got a pretty cool and creative way there. I like that. Uh, some heel, clipper, blocky type stuff as well. Um, yeah, she can do it all, man. And then still, still finding the energy as well to try uh, some lowers thrown into it as well. Uh, this was pure improvisation for me, I'll be honest. Like the kneeling knee stool uh, kind of fell off, but improvised with a few uh, keepy ups in that position. Um, that one there I need to get better at. Uh, the outside stool to the neck in that position. And then... Uh, <laughs> Don't think I didn't spot you, Isabel's dad, trying to steal all my moves, seeing what I'm learning. Yeah, yeah. And then we just had some fun just like carrying on with like the sets, to be honest. Uh, it, it can be a good idea sometimes to kind of like put a little time limit down so that you have an idea of like what 30 seconds is and everything. But we were just enjoying just kind of like going through the motions of just uh, kind of utilizing all the tricks in our toolbox, so to speak. Um, this would have been a really nice set for me if I didn't mess up there in twonk fashion. I don't really understand. It was one of those awkward ones where the ball was almost like too close to you to be able to like get it out under your control, back out under your control and out of your feet. Um, trying to remember this one as well. Ah yeah, that's a nice transition. I, I, I like that, the back, uh, the blind heel. So that, but again though, theme of this all round session was me messing up on the easy bets, honestly. Um, that's the hardest trick in the world. I don't care what anyone says. Eclipse uh, and Isabel doing more than one in a combo. I'll always give props. And then a few tips from Isabel. I thought, right, let's, let's have a go at rap. And with my first attempt, it wasn't too far away. And then out of nowhere, Hello. <laughs> yes, I've never done that in my life. So yeah, on my life, that was my first ever rap. And then for good measure, did another one as well straight afterwards, but that one wasn't as clean. Um, but I was really happy with that. Like, again, you're never too old to learn new tricks and the buzz of l landing new tricks um, for me is, is always like fantastic. And that is such a beautiful finish from Isabel for a really lovely set to end the session there. Um, but yeah, total time of three hours for that training session. I'm gonna rate these sessions as well from now on. I'm gonna to have to give that one an eight out of 10. A few new personal bests with lowers and combos and learning rap as well, which is gonna open up a lot of new doors. Thank you for watching this one, guys. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you soon. Peace.